starting the day off right it is right now oh right now it's 5 21 5 21 in the morning um i woke up out like 30 minutes ago i'm pretty much chill right now um but basically we're gonna just start the day off today is a very very normal day very realistic day we have a lot of paperwork doing and a lot of youtube stuff today actually i want to create a bunch of scripts i want to record a bunch of videos and everything like that including this video here um but yeah i just man 5 21 it's not what i usually wake up at uh, my sleep schedule is kind of all over the place depending on what i'm doing and especially with this content creating it's all over the place but it's still in terms of a set schedule I usually wake up from 5 to around 8, just depending on what I'm doing or what I did the night before. Do I, need, do I need to sleep in more? Do I need to do something else? And so I usually wake up from the range of 5 to 8 and then go to sleep around 12, maybe the 2. So some days I get more sleep, some days I don't. Obviously, if I get less sleep during uh, the night before or anything like that, I take uh, a nap during the day, like an hour nap, like a quick power nap. Nothing too crazy where I'm going to fall into a sleep, but it's not, usually I try to do 40 minutes, but sometimes I go a little bit over, but I still wake up because, you know, I mean, things had to be done and obviously working out and stuff like that. Um, but let's go make a coffee real quick. <laughs> Just got done reviewing basically designs, very typical stuff, paperwork stuff, and it's just... Making sure everybody's on task and following the vision I have. And that's the thing we should talk about. Like, um, let me put some rings on real quick. Sorry. Uh, I forgot to put my rings on earlier. Uh, these are the three wings. It's just some gold rings I got. But I like to put on some type of jewelry. It helps me, like, you know what I mean? I, I'm fashionate. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just wearing a black tee right now. But I do like putting some rings on. But there you go. I wear this combo before, um, I, in multiple videos, short videos, all those stuff. But, alright, let's talk about me, right? Uh, if you watched my second video, uh, when we talked about, or second episode of the vlogs, uh, it's, we talked about Dukes and Dukes meeting that, the different stages of business. I'm not going to go into the full stages of business because I already did it in that video and that took a decent amount of chunk of that video. So if you want to know the stages of business, I highly, I highly go. Oh my god! <laughs> I highly recommend going to that video. Um, but right. So basically, your values and everything like that is very important. People always think, oh yeah, it's important, 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 which it is. But what people don't know is, I'm in the third stage of the business. Third stage of the business where we're repeating automation systems. So when people say like, ah, oh, your life is not very typical, like a, you know, what I mean. Uh, a typical clothing brand owner or something like that, which it is. A um, bunch of clothing brand owners are in my shoes right now where they're just doing things like this. But, you know what I mean? We don't do the Printify, Shopify, you know what I mean? All those regular basic stuff already because I, you guys missed those stages of my life. It's not like I can go back or have videos of the past. I have videos, but like they're not like really fully like videos where like, hey, I can make a YouTube video out of this. You know what I mean? They're just clips and nicks and from years of just entrepreneurship and clothing brand. Like I said, I've been trying to, I start my clothing, I started, oh my, I can't speak today. Uh, I tried to start my clothing brand six times and I finally made it on the seventh time. So I've been doing this for four and a half years. At the end of the year, it'll be five years. So, I've been doing this for a while, guys. I have, um, and I want, I want to talk about value and stuff like that, and provide, uh, I guess, like a sense of, um, a sense of like, leadership and value and insurgence and everything else that relates to a business. So, like I said, I'm in the third, third stage of my business, right? Which I completely removed myself from the business. To look at a bird eye view, like overseer view, you know what I mean, whatever you want to call it. And basically, I'm looking at different departments or future developments and all that stuff. I did a lot of partnership deals already this year. I did two with some unique brands and, you know what I mean, some huge collabs and stuff like that. Um, but when it comes to, like, my business and stuff like that and the channel, well, we'll talk about what I wanted to talk to you about first. So the business, right? As a leader, you have to, you know what I mean? It's okay to show some emotion and stuff like that. And like, you know, when you have your off days, you have your off days. But if I'm not constantly developing myself, not constantly like, you know, improving 
the brand's vision, goal, all of that stuff. Everybody that's below me, everyone like below, not like below, like, oh, I have a high standard or something like that. No, 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 no. Or a high status or any bull crap like that. But like just my employees, the people who work with me, the people on my team. If I don't constantly increase and upgrade and expand the vision for the brand and everything like that, even the, just the business, I'll say business. Um, what can I, like, you know what I mean? It's just nobody works. Nobody has that value. Nobody has that energy or surgeons, you know what I mean? Um, so that's a pretty important thing to think about. Obviously, once you get later on, um, that's becomes more important. When you're starting off, a lot of people that watch me are starting off on a journey or in a different industry or business or anything like that and starting off on a journey. Uh, I have only talked to one person who actually is midway through his journey and like in the second, almost third stage of his business. And what can I say to you for starting off is just, just start. Now you're going to fail. You're going to fail. You really are. That's good. That's really good. Um, but yeah, you're going to fail and you're going to fail multiple times. Don't think it's a walk in the park. Don't think it's this or that. It's just highly recommend just, oh, <laughs> my monitor turns it off right when I was about to time to have like a motivational type. <laughs> uh, come back on. Hello. There you go. Right. But just start because there's really no perfect moment. There's really no perfect time. There's a saying saying like the best time was yesterday and then the second best time is now, which is 100% true, 100% true. So stop waiting for the perfect moment and just start. Um, sounds very generic, but I that's what I did. And look where I became. I look what I became and where I got to and all that stuff. I'm helping my family and all that stuff. Yeah, that's a few other things too. I talked about it in my um, what, what everything I wish I learned at 18 video. Uh, I'm 20 now. So only two years has passed since then, but... Two years was enough to make me realize a few things. And when it comes to, like, living situation, I'm still with my parents. Obviously, there's a difference between living off your parents and living with your parents. I'm living with my parents. I'm paying majority everything. Like, uh, we rent, we split uh, three-way, obviously, split three-way. I'm not going to go into anything crazy details, but I pay the phone bill, pay internet, pay the water, all those other stuff. And I pay majority, I pay majority. So because I want my family and my mainly my parents to like, you know, me have that sense of freedom and all of that stuff, which they do now.